that they freeze. So for this problem, it's the exact same thing like the cotangent that I just did. All we want to simply do is figure out the period, first of all. So the period is going to be pi over b. Remember where b is your number in front of your x. Well, here I have a pi it's in front. Just remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you have that number in front being divided by a number, you have to include that divided by 4. So my actual answer is going to be pi divided by pi over 4. All right, so whenever we have a number divided by a fraction, multiply by the reciprocal, those are going to cancel out. We know those cancel out, and I'll just be left with 4. That means it's going to go from my first period, it's going to take 4 units for it to complete one cycle. Next thing we need to look at is let's go back and look at the original graph. <coughs> for a tangent function, crosses at 0, 0 and has two asymptotes, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So that's for the function of tangent of x. That's with no transformations or anything. We have an asymptote at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. That's for tangent of x. So what I'm saying is if I alter this at all inside this function, you can see I'm multiplying by pi and dividing by 4. That's going to alter my two asymptotes. So to determine how, it's, how it alters them, we set them equal. We set whatever's inside my function equal to my two endpoints. So all you're simply going to do is take negative pi over 2 equals to pi x over 4. And I'll just take pi over 2 equals pi x over 4. Does everybody see what I did? Okay. For cotangent, your endpoints are 0 and pi. For tangent, it's negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. For sine and cosine, it's 0 and 2 pi. Right? And you do the exact same thing over and over to find your endpoints. So now we just need to solve for x. So um, I'll just multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of that. So those will cancel out. Here I'll multiply by the reciprocal. Let's do a different color. So what happens, these cancel out, and those will cancel out, so you're left with x equals, let's see, that's going to cancel out, and that will give you a negative 2. And so we have x equals negative 2. Let's see, those are going to cancel out, 4 divided by 2, x equals 2. So now, our new two endpoints are x equals negative 2 and x equals 2, all right? Now, the thing that I would do is I would make sure you draw your own graph. See, here, your parent graph is in terms of pi. Well, our graph, our new endpoints are not in terms of pi. So let's just create a graph that doesn't have, is not in terms of pi. So let's see, negative 1, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK. So now my graph is going to go through there. It's still um, one thing, you guys, to determine if you, uh, well, if you look at it, it's still my endpoints is going to where it crosses is going to be right in the center. So therefore, it's still going to cross at 0, comma 0. So it's going to look something like that. Then, if we just want to add another period, you notice that your periods are 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 4 more units. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's going to create my next asymptote. All right? Then, to find the next intercept, you just add 4 to your original intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which, again, what you'll notice is halfway between your two asymptotes. So, I just graph the same one. So that is two periods for the tangent function. Any for both of us? No? Okay. Practice. It's all about practice. Literally.